In this lesson, you will learn how to identify even and odd numbers. Let's just talk about the difference between even and odd first, and then we'll solve some problems together. Whole numbers can be split into two categories. The first category is even, and the second category is odd. Let's talk about even numbers first. So even numbers can be split into two equal groups with no leftovers. For example, the number 8 is even. Another thing about even numbers is because they can be split into two equal groups, an even number can be written as the sum of the same number added to itself. For example, 8 is the sum of 4 plus 4. And 4 plus 4, you see here you're adding 4, the same number, to 4. This is called a doubles fact. And if a number can be written as a doubles fact, then the number is even. And again, remember, even numbers can be split into two equal groups. So you can think of 4 plus 4 as two groups of 4. And 4 is equal to itself. Now let's talk about an odd number. An odd number cannot be written as a doubles fact. For example, the number 9 is odd. You can't write 9 as a doubles fact. So if you write 4 plus 4, you know that equals 8. Well, that's less than 9. And the next number up is 5 plus 5, which equals 10. And that's greater than 9. So you can't write a doubles fact for an odd number, which also means that odd numbers cannot be split into two equal groups. And this is how you determine whether or not the number shown is even or odd. Let's solve some problems together. Let's take a look at the first problem. In this problem, there are two rows of teddy bears. The first row has five teddy bears, and I'm going to count them out for you here. And the second row, let's count them in blue, has one, two, three, four, five, six teddy bears. Now, if I try to break these into two groups evenly, I would divide the rows. But notice here, this row has five. This row has six. So I can't divide them into two equal rows or two equal groups, which makes me think that this number is odd. The other way we can test this is let's see what happens if we can write this as a doubles fact or not. Because remember, even numbers can be written as a doubles fact. So 5 plus 5 would be two equal groups of 5, and that has a sum of 10. And we don't have 10 here. We actually have 5 plus 6. And what happens if you add 6 plus 6? 6 plus 6 is 12. And this isn't the number of teddy bears that we, ha we have either. And you can count how many you have in green. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 all together. So you can't write a doubles fact for the number 11, which would fall in between 10 and 12. This means that 11 is odd. And there are an odd number of teddy bears shown in this picture. Now let's try the next problem. Here I see two rows of squares, and I'm going to try and divide this figure into two equal groups, and let's count. In the top row, there are one, two, three, four, and in the bottom row, there are one, two, three, four. Already I can see that the two groups are equal, which makes me think that the number shown is even. And now you can test this out by making a doubles fact. Four in the top row, 4 in the bottom row, and 4 plus 4 is 8. And I'm going to count the total number of squares in blue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is the doubles fact for 8, which means 8 is even. So there are an even number of squares in this visual. Let's solve one more problem together. OK. In this problem, the number 16 is marked on a number line. If you want to determine whether or not a number on the number line is odd or even, you can do this by skip counting by twos. So you will start at the number 0, and then see if you skip count by twos if you land on that number. If you land on that number, then the number is even. Let me start skip counting by two. So for example, you would start at the number 0, and skip over the number directly next to it and land on the second number. Here, that's 2. And I'm going to finish skip counting by 2 for you. Here, I've finished skip counting by 2. And I notice that when I skip count by 2s, I do land on the number 16, which means that the number 16 is even. Thanks for watching.